Hello, and welcome back. In this section, we're going to talk about doc type. Uh, what is a doc type? A doc type describes modules and uh, sorry models and views. The model is your data, and the views has to do with the interaction and my data description. So um, here we have several things that relate to doc type. First, we talk about model. A model is a collection of related doc type. I earlier described from here, what a module is. A module collection of doctor I created this module here, um, estate house box. Recall I deleted this from the Dex interface box. It will not delete because later on you may need the file. So that is why you still have this estate house here. So going back, we have module collection of doc type. Doc field is um, a, an element of a doc type. Take a look at this. Uh, go home, sales invoice, create new. This customer is a document field, and document field has properties. We go back, click on menu, edit doc type. If you don't see this edit doc type, be sure you're setting your site and that's called config.js. It has this in it. Once you have that set up and saved. You use reload and try clicking on this menu again. You see a doc type. No, we are not editing directly. We just want to reference something from the doc type. Okay. That's taking too long. This customer is a doc field. It has different properties. It has a label. Um, can expand this. It has a label type. And there are several types here. You have attached image, barcode, button, currency, data, HTML. We will get to use that as we progress. It has um, the name. This name is what will be used as the column name in the database. And several other properties. That is what the doc field stands for. Then this naming is the primary key that will be used to re-identify each document in a table or on a table. The controller describes how data is fed in and retrieved from the database. And the controller is managed into that is um, using the Python file and the JavaScript file. The child doc type represents a sub part of a document. In sales invoice, child doc type, it can be sales invoice item. An item in an invoice is a child doc type. Clicking on new here, this item, item field is a child doc type because you can add several items that relate or that is linked to that sales invoice. Next is a single doc type. Single doc type is used, is though it's a doc type normally, but it's preferably used for settings like system settings. You do not need to have different fields, I'm sorry, different rules or records. You just have a single record with so many fields that contain system settings. The length and action will be described or defined as we progress into the system. So this is the basic about doc type. In the next video, we'll create our custom doc type using the, the link I sent earlier that is um, for the estate listing. Thanks for watching and we'll see in the next part of this video.